So you've got to be careful with your goal selection. Uh, definitely in the last World Cup there with the rugby, you will see a lot of the teams around the world they peak for games and then you know definitely had a down week afterwards and, and I think rugby it shows up more than any other sport because seven days isn't enough time to recover and some of them only had six at times or even four for Japan after their first game uh, you know Scotland did well in the World Cup probably because you know they were happy to finish second in their group they didn't get over overly excited through their group uh, you know so that was probably a big advantage to them whereas Ireland we were always destined that we couldn't finish second in our group so we were we, we were had to and the media played a big part the public played a big part in this we were always trying to peak in our group whereas ultimately if you want to win a world cup you've got to plateau for the whole week okay you can peak in the final and fall off the edge after that but it's a dangerous thing in sport you've got to be very careful about it and uh, you know even in golf you don't want to peak on a thursday you want to play well all the way through uh, it's interesting you know as i said every, everybody you know you've got to be very careful as i said we use Arico. I, I, I use Arico, as I said, it's a it's a very factual based uh, biomarker in the bloods that tell you exactly where you are in your training cycle. So it helps you periodize during the year and, and, and ensure that you you don't have a period where you 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 know you fall off the edge and you, you know you get injured or you have a stale period at the wrong time. We need to play well, or I need to play well from April through to the end of August. Maybe if it's a ride a couple of year till the end of September, uh, and you know the rest of the time it's nice to play well, but ultimately nobody can play for 12 months of the year. Yeah. Nobody can play well all the time. But it must be a challenge in a social media-driven world to keep massive all challenge. that. Massive challenge. Massive uh, challenge. You know, as I said, I've never re read anything written about me, and I had an interesting one this year. Uh, I uh, one of the other golfers was on Twitter, and he sent a picture out uh, of the two of us on, on the golf course, and. I, it was sent to my notifications and so I went into my notifications which I hadn't done before clicked on it and saw the picture and then I read the next three tweets and the first tweet was saying something this was actually the week before I won in Honda which is interesting or two weeks before so the first tweet was was basically slagging off my uh, my caddy to, uh, and so I, I was on a I was shouting at him down the plane and he was about 10 seats away laughing at him saying ah oh, this guy says you're this that and the other but the next tweet was about me, and the next tweet was about me, and I didn't find them so funny, so I, I haven't looked again. I just you haven't clicked the notification since? No. no, there's no point, you know. And, and, and there's nothing wrong with what the people were saying. Everybody's opinion is valid, but I just don't need to listen to it. Uh, that's the reality. I would make those opinions about other people. So I, I'm not critical of anybody out there having an opinion and, and giving that opinion. I'm just saying that I can't let it into my world. I don't, don't want it to infect my world because those people haven't got full information, which obviously they don't. Uh, but if I'm sitting in the pub having a few drinks, of course I'm going to give my opinion, and that's right. But, you know, years ago, that opinion was in the pub. Then it moved on if you were mad enough to ring into talk, talk radio. And now it's all access to everybody on Twitter. I, I cannot understand how any person who's in the social eye would actually you've got to be a very strong person to to to, to read what's written and, and and understand that it's actually not gospel that might be another way to look at it so if i was to read it i'd have to be, not just have a thick skin but understand that look people are right to have an opinion not to worry about what their opinion is though